Hi, I'm Caroline the Frugal Grocery Girl and welcome to week 31 of my $25 grocery challenge. I'm going to begin by putting together ingredients I already have on hand and come up with a basic meal plan. Recipes I'm using as inspiration this week can be found in the description box below the video. This week I'll be doing a freezer clean out. I'll be cobbling together meals from leftovers I've accumulated over the past couple of months. For breakfast, eggs, and using up the mozzarella leftover from last week, as well as this small piece of breakfast sausage from the freezer. For snacks, plenty of fruit, nuts, carrots, and bread and butter pickles left over from last week. The pickles are delicious and I will definitely be making them again. From the freezer, I have leftover chili, a small zucchini lasagna, two zucchini patties, a couple of pieces of quiche. From the refrigerator, a couple of pieces of chicken left over from last week. And if I round them all out with salad, I think they'll be great. And the only thing I'm thinking of making this week is some cornbread muffins to go along with the chili. So I think I'm pretty set. I'm gonna make a list, go shopping, and when I get back, I'll show you everything I bought and how much I spent. And I'm back from shopping. First, I went to ShopRite and got the Skoya seasoning for $3.59. Unlike last week, I was hoping they would have the chunk cheese, but they had it this week, the blue cheese, for $4.12. Then I went to Lidl, got half and half for $2.79, balsamic vinegar for $2.49, these two containers of peanuts for $3. I got one pound unsalted and one pound of lightly salted cocktail peanuts. A dozen eggs on sale for $1.49. Sour cream, $1.97. Uh, I like to dollop that on top of chili. Two packages of cheese for $3. That will also go on the chili. Tomatoes on the vine were on sale for $1.16 a pound. This cost me $1.44. And finally, a one pound bag of baby carrots for 99 cents. Dumpster diving was a bit of a bust this week. I did get a bag of limes. I've already given away most of them and I'm just gonna juice these up and freeze the juice to use at a later date. I also rescued a little bit of lettuce. So the total for everything here came to $24.88, which brings the total spent on groceries in the month of July to $96.10. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave comments below, and I will see you next week.